What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Shanice Alicia. For everyone who is new, welcome, welcome. And for my ride and die babies, <laughs> hey, y'all. So I brought you guys an early Valentine's Day gift. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I wanted to do this look because it's a super fun and different type of feel than what I'm accustomed to doing for Valentine's Day. Usually, we hit the scene with the bold red lips, minimal eyes, maybe a wing, a little shimmer, and some highlight, and you just keep it trucking. But I've done a lot of red lips here on my channel, so I wanted to switch it up and do like a pinky, purple, tony kind of look with a super cut crease, lots of shimmer shine whatever you want to call it bold lashes the whole nine yards instagram brows can we say hashtag no bad brow day but anyway guys um yeah so i wanted to switch it up for valentine's day to say the least bring you guys this look so that you can recreate it for your special day and whomever you want to share it with you guys already know the drill before we hop into today's video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up go ahead and give it a thumbs up because you love the look you're gonna love the tutorial and i hope that you want to recreate it let me know your thoughts down below go ahead and spam the comment section with some pink and purple pink or purple pink and pink spam the comment section with a whole bunch of hearts and don't forget you guys before you leave go ahead and press that red subscribe button and tap that bell you're gonna come back anyway tap the bell tap the bell so that you know whenever i'm posting videos um i don't know guys this was just a fun look and i'm glad that i was able to get it filmed and out to you guys before your special days all right guys let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial all right guys so the first thing that we're gonna do is go in with my benefit precisely my brow pencil and it's in the number five my eyebrows are freshly threaded so i don't have to do a whole lot of work to fill them in today All right guys, so now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brow gel just to give my hair some structure before I go in to conceal and clean them up. All right, so now going in to clean up my brows with my Maybelline concealer. It's in the color tan and that's number 45. Now y'all, why I done went and got so happy and forgot to prime my face? So now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer and just do all those areas around my eyebrows. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a Morphe 173 brush to blend that concealer away from my eyebrows, and then I'll go over that with my Blurring Buffer Brush from Bare Minerals to further clean it up. So as you guys know, I just like to take my finger to blend out that product in between my brows to make it look nice, clean, and smooth. After that, I'm gonna go ahead in with my concealer on my lid to prime it for the eye look that we're gonna be doing today. I'm going to use the exact same concealer that I used to clean up my brows. And then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Setting Powder and it's in the color Banana. For today's look, I'm going to be working out of two Juvia's Place palettes. The first is going to be the Masquerade palette, and then the second will be the Zulu palette. So with the Masquerade palette, I'm just going to go in with this pretty kind of magenta, but purple, but I don't know. I can't really explain the color, but it's pretty out, and I feel like it will be a great transition color for the pink eyelid look that I'm going to be doing today. The brush that I'll be using for my transition color is the Morphe 433 brush. Oh, that's pretty. These palettes are so pigmented, y'all, so I really love that I'm using it for this Valentine's Day look. That color really pops as a transition, cute, cute. So now with the Zulu palette, I'm going to go in with a MAC 219 brush to add in that smoky purple color just to kind of give some dimension to the eye before I go in and cut my crease. Ooh. 
With the same brush that I used for that magenta pink transition color, I'm gonna go in on top of that just to blend these two colors together. So now with the same concealer that I used to clean up my brows and also prime my lids, I'm gonna go in and cut my crease. I'm also going to be using a Morphe 508 brush. And with a clean, fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna go in and set that concealer by lightly tapping it in. I'm not gonna add any product because I do want the lid color to stick. Now with a Bare Minerals Detail Shader Eyelid Brush, I'm just gonna go in and pack in this pretty pink color from the Zulu palette. So now to break up this little pink party that we got going on, I'm gonna go in with that light pink glittery color from the Zulu palette and add it to the inner corner of my lid. Ooh, actually y'all, that's so pretty. I wanna add it all over. That is so, gotta add it all over. So I'm going to take that detailed shader brush, clean it off of course, and then go in with that glitter color all over because that's too pretty to just keep at the inner corner. That is cute, that's pretty. So now I'm gonna go in and sharpen up my crease with that purple color. This is a MAC 209 brush that I'm using. It's very fine and it's perfect for going back in to really give your crease that sharp look. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my NYX liquid liner and it's the hella fine little point tip. You guys have seen this before. I use it in almost all of my eye looks, but I'm just gonna go in and create a pretty dramatic wing because I feel like this eye kind of calls for it. Baby, before I catch a cramp in my hand, I'm gonna move away from the eyes for a second. We're gonna do some face, and then we're gonna come back with lashes and everything because y'all, I'm tired, but it is really coming together. This is definitely one of those, you gotta trust the process as you're going type of looks because until you put on some mascara and some lashes. This is a, a birthday cake, no candle. So, you know, you just don't see the vision, but it looks really good. So super cute, a fun, <sighs> I don't know, but we're just gonna go ahead and get into some face and then I'll come back to the eyes to wrap this look up. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. It's in the shade 400 and you guys know the drill. It dries fast, so you got to move 
fast with it y'all and um i'm just going to buff this out maybe use about two full pumps so this is a real techniques 301 brush um i don't know if this is just like a special uh limited edition color but it is a 301 so i'm sure that you can probably find it in the black version um it's like a stippling brush it works out pretty good especially for buffing out foundation That is two pump coverage. Now I'm just gonna go in with a damp sponge and kind of go over and set that foundation in. I don't know if this really works y'all, but I just like to kind of do double damage to make sure that my foundation is nice and blended and smooth in all areas. So now with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, this is in the shade 385. I'm gonna go in and highlight underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow my chin and maybe a little on the forehead you guys already know the drill so i like to let it set just a little bit and as you see i'm going to go in and clean up that little bottom area of my lid just to make sure that my wing is nice and sharp and then also the excess product that did fall out I'm of course gonna go in and set my under eye with my Fenty Beauty setting powder and it's in the color Banana. Same as I used before to set my lid. For my contour today, I'm going to use a loose powder from Bare Minerals and it's in the shade Warmth. Now with a fluffy brush, of course, I'm gonna go in and just blend out my setting powder. So now with the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2, I'm gonna go in with that really light pink color to just keep the face nice, soft, and cute, but still within that pink tone. And to highlight, of course, I'm going to use my favorite. It's the Gold Deposit from MAC, and I'm just going to highlight in all those key places. All right, so face nice and done. Now circling back to this lid. I'm about to put on some mascara. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. You guys know it's Makeup Shayla's. I'm going to do that, go off camera, put on my lashes. Before I do that, I need to go in with a little bit of that purple on my lash line at the bottom to really kind of give this look some dimension. And then I'm gonna go off camera and do all of that, come back and give you guys some slow-mos because we're done oh i need a lip too huh need a little lip i might just do a gloss i don't know yet but let's do this that looks good that looks let me set my face let me set my face let me set my face jesus let me set my face and that wraps up this bold Valentine's Day glam look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. You already know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you spam that comment section with your pink and purple hearts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell before you leave. You guys know I'll see you in my next video. Peace, guys. <laughs>